Steve with Laser Tech here. We're going to talk about our conductor clearance app and how we can make danger tree determinations using it. I've got the True Pulse 200X here and we'll show you a routine with the 360 later on as well. So I've started the conductor clearance app. I've opened up a project and I've got my record list. I just go down to add a new record and choose conductor clearance. And we'll just take these top to bottom, how they're laid out in the menu here. The first routine is at tree. So we'll make that selection. We'll make sure our laser's connected by a Bluetooth. And the first procedure is to measure the height of the tree. The diagrams will walk you right through it. Horizontal distance first. And then an angle to the base. No problem. And then to the top. Okay, it's calculated my tree height, about 42 feet. Now the procedure is to walk up to the tree and stand there. So we've moved up to the tree. In this case, we can't get right next to it, but as long as we're right off to the side of it in relation to the wire, that'll be fine. The same elevation as well. So now all I've got to do is shoot the wire. And you got to pick the right one. And I've recorded my instrument height, and then I just take the shot to the wire. And that's calculated the line distance, which is the distance from the base of the tree to the line. So tree height's 42, line distance is just under 40, so we've got a problem here. That tree is in danger of hitting the wire for where to fall. So the next scenario we'll cover for conductor height is where you can occupy a point right underneath the wire. So I've done that, I've come and I've set the laser up right underneath the wire perpendicular to the tree, so I'm at the closest point to it. So now I'm just going to measure the tree height and the wire and get the solution. So I'll just choose conductor clearance, under conductor, and I get a prompt to measure the tree height. So again, it's horizontal distance, an angle to the base, and then an angle to the top. And that's giving me my tree height. And now I just point up and shoot the conductor and get that shot. So I've measured the tree height and the conductor. It's calculated the line distance again. And again, it's just about exact or just under the tree height. So we've got a problem with this tree. So that's the under conductor routine for conductor clearance. So in this scenario for the conductor clearance, we can't occupy the tree. We can't occupy the area under, right underneath the wire but we can be back on the other side of the wire. So we just want to align ourselves again perpendicular to the tree with the wire in between us. So we just make that selection, conductor clearance, behind conductor, and it's the same sequence, tree height and then the shot to the wire. Horizontal distance, base angle, top angle. That looks good, and then we shoot the wire. And we get our line distance and tree height. That's the behind conductor routine for conductor clearance. So the last scenario we'll go over here in the conductor clearance routine utilizes the 360, and it's what we call the offline. You can occupy any convenient location where you can see the tree height and then see a section of the wire. So we'll just go ahead and, and start that routine. As usual, our first shots are to the, measure the tree height. And you'll be recording distance and, and azimuth to the tree at this time too. So horizontal distance, base angle, and top angle. And that gives us our tree height. Now we want to measure to the wire. And the tricky thing here is where is that perpendicular point on the wire? Well, the nice thing about the app is that you measure two points on the wire to create a line segment. So you just pick a point before and pick a point after. It'll create that line segment and then it'll do the math. So it's a real good way to, to get that distance to the wire. So we've got our line segment measured and we've got the data there now. We've still got that 
that line distance shorter than the tree height, so this tree's in danger of hitting. So that's the offline routine using the 360 model.